My name is Evan Kamiati. I own Core Farms with my wife, Rachel. We've been running a homestead bakery and organic farm in Ocala, Florida for almost four years. I was a chef, a professional chef before this, and I loved the concept of farm to table and taking something and completing it, whether from growing something and then growing it and cooking it and serving it type of thing. And it was just always a passion for myself. I grew up with a bunch of family gardens and a big family that was into every uh, into the gardens lots of canning and preserving we always did the fall with jams and jellies and pickling and getting stuff ready for the winter so um always had a passion for it. some of my first jobs working in big greenhouses and projects like that too so we're a four acre organic farm with greenhouses market garden style setup as long with a food forest out there we have over 300 fruit trees within our food forest that is all beneficial from the ground up on there we also have a blueberry orchard blackberries, raspberries, grapes and passion fruit trellises. We have an apiary out there, rabbits, as well as uh, egg laying chickens that we work with. So we do over three farmers markets a week and we do definitely do the community outreach and talk and discussions with that and have people come on out and try to do as much teaching and education as we can or get, helping with whatever knowledge that we have. So food forest is construction of a beneficial forest, everything from the ground up that's either going to be helpful, medicinal, edible, or anything like that. Uh, there are many different things that you need to have a self-sustaining food forest itself and different plants, anywhere from root vegetables such as potatoes and tubers and things like that, to ground cover, to small trees, all the way up to your large trees, such as in our food forest, such as loquats and things like that. Uh, it's a... Uh, I guess it's a practice and design that's been around for about 30 years now or the concept of it and then it's been added to and fitted for the different environments and different climates around here. My, my number one suggestion is just start doing it. You, I, you know, I have, I have made countless, countless mistakes and have learned every single step of the way that I've been doing stuff. Um, of course, I've read and I studied a whole bunch and tried to tried to take the best step forward doing that. But you really just have to get out there and start doing it. There's nothing, nothing more than hands-on experience. A uh, perfect example for that would be when I started doing my apiary and beekeeping project last year. You can read so many books and try to think you know what you're doing, but until you're actually out there hands-on with someone that has many more years of experience in you that can point out certain things and everything that's going on at every time. And then throughout the summer, you know, we, we worked with bees twice a week and it's just once you get into it and start learning and start really observing and just getting your hands dirty on it. Don't be afraid to make, like I said, you make more mistakes than, <laughs> than you make accomplishments to begin with, but that it's all part of it. Local community supported agriculture and local community supported farming I think is very important. Trying to cut out the, the giant national supply chain I think is one of the key things to help with you know, the next food production here in America.